Okay, hello, 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 hello. And before I talk about the things I'm going to talk about, first off, the Detroit Pistons have finally re signed Simone Fontecchio. Two years, 60 million. That's a steal of a contract. Good job for the Pistons right there. He's a four. The guy they traded for in the last trade deadline. He's a 6'8 shooter. Good size at the four position. Again, he provides another shooter for Cade Cunningham. All right. And then the Denver Nuggets. They finally signed somebody. Dario Saric, two years, 10 million. He's another depth in that front court alongside Darren Holmes for Nikola Jokic. He could be your back of four. He could be your back of five. What he does, he's a big that can shoot, that can rebound, that can pass. And basically, that's about it. So he's basically a lesser version of Nikola Jokic at the four or at the five. And then LeBron took a pay cut for like, and now he's earning now 15 million for a year. Not, not that huge of a pay cut, by the way. Okay, so what else this is there to talk about? Oh, the Charlotte Hornets signed Miles Bridges for three years, seventy-five million. I don't know about that though. Miles Bridges, the basketball player, that's a steal. Miles Bridges, the human being, though, different story. And then, alright, should I go with the DeRozan trade or should I go with the Heat rookies? Let's go with the Heat rookies first. Well, the Warriors beat the crap out of them, 105-66. The Heat Summer League team only shot 28% from the field, including Alondis Williams shooting all of 9 from the field. His chances of staying with the Heat just got lowered Cole Swider Let's see yeah here Cole Swider is the high point man with 17 points on 50% shooting he went 4 of 6 from downtown his spot for the, with the team is still alive Kellelware had a solid showing 12.6 rebounds 5 blocks he stood out defensively. Every time they try to score on him, they cannot score shit. Paley Larson and Keisha Johnson combined for 5 of 18 shooting. The Arizona boys struggled. But one thing to note though, Paley Larson get to the line a lot and he shot 7 free throws in this game. And with Keisha Johnson though, he was basically a live wire out there being active on the floor. Again, this probably be first game jitters for these guys though. But as far as Alondis Williams is concerned, he might be done with the Summer League Heat. Well, for the Miami Heat rather, this season. Other news though, uh, for the Lakers, Dalton Kidnex struggled. 12 points and 3 of 12 shooting. Bronny James, 2 of 9 shooting, 4 points. And for the second version of the Sacramento Kings, Adonis Arms scored 32 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists. Some team in the NBA might get him on a training camp deal, or some team overseas may give him a million dollar deal. Either way, he has played himself into that contract. And now, the DeMar DeRozan trade. So, the Sacramento Kings traded for DeMar DeRozan in exchange for Harrison Barnes and a first round pick to San Antonio, Chris Duarte, and two second round picks to Chicago. For Chicago, they did what they could have gotten for the. DeMar DeRozan, that's a crap return, but they gotta get something 
in return for DeMar DeRozan. Again, D minus, crap return. They're gonna suck. But hey, Kobe White, stop going up the roof right now. Spurs, A. They get Harrison Barnes and an unprotected first one pick for free. And they didn't have to give up a lot either. <laughs> And for the Kings, I mean, it's a B plus. Look, Sabonis, Fox, and DeMar DeRozan, though. Spacing be damned with that trio. <laughs> Keegan Murray and Kevin Herter are now required to shoot many trees per game now. Because those other three can't shoot trees for shit. And they shoot at a high clip either, though, because... Otherwise, teams are gonna play zone on these guys and they're gonna crumble like hell. Now, DeRozan is a much better player than Harrison Barnes at this point in their careers. But this was a short sighted move for the Sacramento Kings. I get they wanna keep up with the rest of the Western Conference, though. I just don't know if this was the move. With that said though, this is a move they have to take just in order to keep up with the Western Conference. With that said, I don't know if that's, if it's the right move though. Just saying. With that said, that's it for me. See ya.